What is the difference between uh-huh. between prophecy from Christians and crystal ball palm reader uh right. tarot card um zodiac sign right stuff. Okay. Yeah. Well, so if we're talking about I think there's a big difference between like if you're truly prophetic. For 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 me, I think it's all kind of crap. It's a little shady to you. Yeah. I, I think if there's true prophetic, like that's being guided by the spirit of the Lord. Okay. Okay. I think to be honest with you, some of the other stuff you're talking about, like the fortune telling, that you know, that kind of stuff, crystal yeah. ball cards, that kind of stuff. Like I sometimes I think it's just flesh. People are just being con artists, right? Like right. that. Like some of the Christian ones. Right, like some of the Christian ones. Absolutely. Okay. And then I do think on the other side of that, they actually may be telling you some stuff, but it's it's from the demonic realm. That's how they're getting their knowledge. Okay. And so I think that I think you do have to be careful of where you're getting your information from. Well, why? Because if if it's coming from the spirit of the Lord, yeah. that's one thing, right? Okay. That's for my encouragement, my edification, my comfort. If it's coming from the demonic, I know what the demonic's after. The demonic is after, you know, the demonic desires to still kill and destroy. That's what the demonic wants to do. And okay. so even if there's some truths in there, there's going to be a whole lot of lies wrapped around there. Or there's going to be a like, it's like, G, it's like when Jesus was tempted by Satan. Okay. And Satan was actually quoting partial scriptures to Jesus. Okay. But Jesus was able to know all of the scripture because obviously he was the one that was right. there, you know, when it was written. And so he's able to to take what Satan says and goes, no, the scripture really says this. And so I think that we just have to be really careful, not really careful. We should never take what a palm reader, uh, you know, anyone in that fortune telling world is saying. Never take any of that at face value. Just write it all from point one. So if God is telling me true future stuff uh-huh. through a prophecy, uh-huh. and Satan is telling me true future stuff through a prophecy, okay, what's the difference if okay. I know... Let me stop you right there. Okay. Because Satan doesn't know the future. Well, then how does he... Uh, how? how uh, so What? Yeah. No, Satan doesn't know the future. Okay, so He's, he doesn't know your future. God does, because God is all knowing. Okay, so where is? Okay, you because do- what'll happen is Satan, Satan will like tell you like a, a truth, like a little bit of a truth, right? Okay. To let you like to convince you that they know something. Okay. But it's what's coming after that, or what's around that, that is problematic. I don't get it. Give okay. me an example. Okay. So come up with some Satan fortunes for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's say that you're with a fortune teller and that fortune tells you, um, Nate, I see that you have a child who's not your child. Okay. And you go, hmm. Okay. Got my attention. He's right here. <laughs> right. Next. But, but you got my attention. <laughs> right. You got my attention. And it's what's after that. Because the demonic is not wanting to steer you in any kind of positive way. It's wanting okay. to steer you in a way that's away from the Lord. Oh, okay. So you're saying that they're going to tell me something that's true. Uh-huh. But that exists already. Uh-huh. Because they don't know the future. Correct. And so they're, yeah, they yeah. come up with something real generic uh huh, or just not generic enough that you- You completely buy into it. Buy yep. into it. And then they're going to say, you should go jump off a cliff. <laughs> right. Yes. Or okay. whatever it may be. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that that's all of that stuff? What do you mean that's all of that stuff? Like- like, 
Yeah, like I wouldn't trust. Yeah, no, I'm not dabbling in any of that mess. If that's what you're asking. I I mean like uh, like if they say something more than that, like mm -hmm. like you're gonna die in a plane crash in you know this year, right. this day. Then I'm like, whatever. That none of that could ever be true. Like nothing that no, not not that not that specific. Okay. Right. Because 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 if they if they're like you know what something really terrible is going to happen to you this year. Well, yeah. Right. Because yeah. It, like, but that's what I'm saying. It would have to be like really generic. Okay. And not specific because the enemy does not know specific things about the future. Uh, okay. Yeah. But but God prophecies could tell me really specific things about Correct. the future. Correct. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Like, so for example, like one of the examples in, in scripture is there's a prophet named Agabus and he takes Paul's belt mm -hmm. and he tells and he says, whoever's wearing this belt is going to be um, uh, imprisoned. And, and, he and arrested. Who Paul was? No, he knew who Paul was. Okay. And 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 so he's telling him like a specific thing about what's going to have to happen to Paul if Paul goes to Rome. Okay. Wearing that belt. Yeah. Like he, okay. he says, the owner of this belt, like so he's saying to Paul, Okay, if you go to Rome, this is what's going to happen. And okay. he gives very specific things. And Paul and and Paul knows that all of that's Paul. It's like, yep, that's probably all true. But I'm I, going anyway. I still, I still go to Rome. Okay. And so, uh, so I think that there's, yeah, so I think, you know, pr there are prophets that speak things today that are true for the future. Okay. And, um, and that are very, that, that, that's what I'm kind of saying, that can be transformative. 